Okay, today I'm going to teach you how to use your own driver in F1 2017 with all menu pictures, helmet, UI, and everything. The uh, first thing you'll need is the Intel DDS plugin for Photoshop. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description. This is what you'll need basically for texture modding F1 2017 entirely. Then you'll also need the, the ERP archiver as always. Uh, I recommend version 5.2 or newer if uh, one is out at that time. First thing you'll want to do is uh, with the ERP archiver locate your F1 2017 directory. It's in uh, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, F1 2017. Head to Asset Groups, UI Package, and Texture Arrays here. Then you'll want to go Drivers, and you'll need to go to both of these and take a team and a driver. Uh, I'll, I'm for the purpose of the tu this tutorial using Pure Ghastly. So uh, let's just take uh, Aaron Rye here, for example. You'll want to take this and you'll want to export the texture. Uh, you can just put it into here, for example. Then what you'll want to do is go back and take the full one as well. Uh, you'll want to do this for the phase that you're using for career. Uh, it doesn't matter which phase or which team, you'll just need to get these two textures. Then, after you've done that, you'll want to go into Photoshop and Photoshop your head in, like in this case, Pierre Gasly. Uh, it's pretty basic Photoshop, uh, so you'll have to do that yourself, I'm not showing it here. And just make sure you update the alpha channel shape here into matching the new head. You can use your own face or any driver. Then after you've done that, you want to save it as a Intel DDS plugin file. Uh, so, and you'll want to use the settings uh, color plus alpha. You'll want to go oh, BC7 sRGB. Uh, it doesn't really matter if it's fast or fine. Uh, then uh, no none for the MIP maps. That's important because uh, as you can see here, MIPS one. So you'll just do that. It saves it. Then you'll do the same thing for the other one. Uh, it's the same settings, I believe. I'll still check that. Uh, so uh, you well uh, exactly that one. So yeah, uh, save it as, and you save them both. Now what you can do is. You can go into uh, import uh, and find it like, for example, this one here. And it's worked fine. You'll see nothing has changed there. And then also do the same thing for the other texture. So uh, go in and find it in here and import. And it's fine. Uh, save it as. So, yeah. Then uh, we'll be doing also a helmet for Gasly. So um, what I've done here is I've used a texture which Carlito has made, which will be included in a modal post of this, uh, uh, which you have to use for the UI textures. So um, basically you'll want to download a 3D model for helmets and you'll want to try and angle the camera just as close as you can to this. I'll show a few tricks how to make it better afterward. Then what you'll do is you'll go save as, you'll uh, go into wherever you are saving this, uh, and you'll save it as a PNG for now. And uh, you'll also need a picture from it on the, from the side like this. That's actually a pretty good one. I'm probably not going to edit that very much. We'll also save it as a PNG. Uh, and I'm going to go to here. Then what you need to do is you need to uh, locate the two textures you need for the menu UI. Uh, I have them under here. And you need to open these two. And you need to make sure that you load it as an alpha channel. So then what you need to do is uh, place embedded or place if you have an older version of Photoshop. Then take the side image. Now you'll see it's smaller. You can just uh, shift and drag it to make it larger. Uh, try to match around the size of it first. That's the first thing you want to do. 
then when you have the size you'll know that you'll see that the shape isn't perfect so what you want to do is lower the opacity a little bit from there then what you want to do is warp then uh, what you can do with this is if you want this is optional I think it should work without you doing this but if you want to you can uh, take some time and uh, edit around with all of this and make it as close as possible like that then uh, just full opacity and it's much closer now as you can see it's not perfect but it'll do for the purpose of this then you'll just do make sure you're uh, full black here fill it and then alpha channel first full black and then uh, control click and select that and fill it with white that should uh, give you that and um, then let's do the same for the other one uh, this you will maybe need a little bit more work with and as you can see it has a shadow in there I'm going to actually cut that out so what you just simply do is take the pen tool and drag around uh, the shape like this way it gets rid of the shadow so as we can see the angle on this isn't perfect it's not all just the size it's also the angle so first you want to take out some of the, uh, the size to be similar then uh, let's make it a little bit smaller actually then what you need to do is you need to control or click and drag you can match around the angle for better like this than you can by warping it you might want to also warp it a little bit in the end but uh, that's decent then take some warp alright oh, yeah um, uh, warp doesn't work with smart objects with have a layer mask so I just quickly uh, copied from selection with the layer mask and now you can warp it as you'd like so let's say that's uh, good enough put it on full opacity take out the background give it a full black, black again then go into the alpha channel a black and fill with white then you should be good to save those uh, the format they will be going to uh, two places actually they are both in UI package flow customization is the first one you need to first find this one right here and this is a BC7 sRGB so it's the same save settings so you just again go as and save it into your folder which in this case is tutorial uh, side. and save same settings then uh, go back and Intel texture works and again same ones then you need to go to here and you need to first do import and then go in here and find your ghastly helmet side so that's nice there then what you do uh, you need to do this to the helmet design you use so if you're using say this helmet right here you need to do it for this helmet if you're doing this helmet you do it for that I'm just using gen 1 here as an example but you need to do it for whatever helmet you're actually using so yeah uh, let's go back to the gen 1 here so then you'll also need to uh, use this texture right here uh, I will put these files in a mod uh, on race department but at, uh, what you need to do is uh, go into here and take the 256 size one because this is the 256 size and that's now fixed then you need to take this one 
and again uh, because I'm using Gen 1 I'll just do this um, you take it that file and then you need to also take the other uh, file which is for these uh, from here again 5211 and that's now fine you now want to save flow customization as that's good then you need to go to flow front end now this is something that you're going to, need to work with a little bit but first what you need to do is uh, you need to go here you need to again put it back in that helmet from here so we use the side and we use the side effect again well uh, let's just because I don't want to do that just import this one first uh, I think I put export by accident so then you need to go and fix the UI effects and uh, 256 then get 512 despite that it's not actually a, that size then uh, that should be a set for the helmet UI but there is also uh, then uh, you just save this as flow front end if you want to edit the actual menu screen one which doesn't have the theme on it you can also edit these files um, you should be able to get away with just one file that you resize uh, then what you need to do is you need to also find a flow persistent now in here you have this and this firstly for this one you'll need to resize your side helmet so you need to go into here you need to image size unlink these two and take pixels and you want to make it a uh, one two eight and sixty four uh, that's not actually a square size so you want to actually do it in canvas size here uh, pixels you want to do one two eight and you want to do uh, the 64 um, you might need to do some resizing at all uh, I'd recommend exporting the actual uh, helmet from here and sizing it with that one but I'm not going to do that for now you should be able to figure that out pretty easily and again uh, just size that out uh, for the purpose of actually just showing that you can change it let's actually do a Leclerc helmet for that uh, do that then you need to go into here and this is gonna be what's gonna take you a while because there's 541 textures in here they're in alphabetical order so you're going to click through every single one of them until you find uh, your theme and your face so uh, once we get through these classics here we should be able to find a uh, Ferrari here for example so uh, what you need to do is find your face uh, mine was the first one so it's going to take me a while so uh, since we're using this face if we were doing force india we'd edit that one if we were doing that face in force india we'd edit that one we need to still find the toro rosso so now we found our face here uh, you'll need to resize it uh, so you'll want to go to the small one here you'll want to go into image size and you'll want to make it the 136 times 116 uh, first let's unlink those so 136 and then 116 we'll just double check that yes and then that's good we'll uh, then go ahead and save it as as the small 136 yeah that'll do and take that it's again the same settings save it then take it from here go into the folder find it and then we should be able to go into the game now and actually see how it looks so here we see Pierre Gasly his helmet everything uh, we can go to edit driver and we can actually see here the helmet we can see the colors are all nice 
the kinetic colors they should be red green and blue uh, always perfectly luminant uh, they're not perfectly here but I Uh, you'd wanna match the luminances if you can perfectly. I can't do that right now, but yeah, you can see the, that his helmet is there, looks so nice. His nationality, his driver number. You can edit that face, but you don't have to since you won't be seeing it other than this screen. So, as we can see here, we can open the laptop, we can see Pierre Gaston is there. And we can see that his helmet is there, all nice and fine. And yeah, uh, if you've installed your career helmet design also into like being Pierre Gasly, you can go into practice and it will show Pierre Gasly's helmet there. Uh, you can do that from Chris's tutorial better than mine, but yeah, basically that's how you do it. You can do it with anything, you can do it with your face, any driver's face anything basically that's how it works so that'll be it for this tutorial i'll be doing a few more f1 2017 modding tutorials in the near future so look forward to that